So you wanna make a 3D printed LED sign. Maybe you're looking for a fun way to use your 3D printer that you're buying on Black Friday. Maybe you already have a 3D printer and just want a cool looking LED sign. In any case, you're in luck because this week, as part of my goal to design 52 3D print projects by the end of 2025, I decided to make my own 3D printed LED sign. And I found there are three key considerations you need to make if you plan to design your own. Let's jump right in. The most important factor is the shape because it'll dictate the rest of your design decisions. For picking a shape, you don't want too many colors. A good rule of thumb is if it looks good as a silhouette, it probably has potential for an LED sign. With this in mind, I first thought of my YouTube logo. I also considered making a Swaro cactus, which I have a minor obsession with making 3D prints around. But considering I do a lot of 3D printing on this channel, I ultimately went with a floating 3D printer nozzle. After picking our shape, it's time to gather our materials. Most obviously, we need lights. As a kid who lived in the 2010s, I decided to recycle an old LED light strip. These are fun because I can change the color, but they're also kind of overkill because they're way too long. But I plan to make more LED signs in the future. We also, of course, need a 3D printer. I printed this sign on a Prusa Mini, which is a great beginner printer, link in the description. You also want two colors of filament, a dark color for the exterior and a light color, I recommend white, for the screen diffusing the light. Grab some measurements of our LED light strip, and we now have everything we need to start designing our sign. For this portion of the project, you'll need a vector graphics editor, a 3D modeling software, and a slicer. I personally used Adobe Illustrator, Onshape, and Prusa Slicer. I'm using Illustrator to create my vector image of a nozzle. I exported this as a .wg file and imported it into Onshape. I use this shape to create a screen. To start, I make the screen the height of one layer, which in my case is 0.15 millimeters, but I make sure it is easy to change later because spoiler alert, I change it later. Next, the border is made and indents are added for my LED light strip to slot into. Now we can add this to our slicer, slice it and send it to the printer. During assembly, I realized I made the slot I planned to feed my LED light strip through too small, but I wasn't going to reprint just for this, so I cut it open a little more. I fed the end of the LED light strip through the enlarged slot and we got our first glimpse of what the sign would look like. Not too bad, but the light strip began popping up inside, creating these ugly shadows, so I found the right length and cut it to size before gluing the strip in place. The remote I first used to power this strip has two ports for two light strips, and I had this older remote that I wanted to use instead so I could save this dual port remote for something else, but after a considerable amount of time trying and failing, I gave up which is fine because I ultimately wrapped an extra light strip behind my desk for ambient lighting. Anyways, back to the LED sign. With one layer of filament for the screen, I felt like the light wasn't diffused enough, so I tried a two layer screen, which I think works better. I might also try more layers in the future and I'll keep you updated, but two layers is good for now. And just like that, we have our own custom 3D printed LED sign. Like I said earlier, I plan to make more signs, so let me know in the comments what signs you plan to make. All the materials I used for this project are linked in the description, plus my go-to engineering equipment. Black Friday is right around the corner, so if you've been thinking about getting a 3D printer for a while, this might just be the time. Wait, before you go, I have a not-so-secret secret to share. I've made a lot more projects like the one in today's video, and that's because this year I challenged myself to design 52 3D print projects by the end of 2025, and the 3D print you saw in today's video is part of that journey. To stay updated on these projects, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. If you want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button below to gain access to perks. Last week, I designed simple 3D prints for minor inconveniences, which you can check out here, or watch this playlist to see all my previous 3D printed projects from this year. Thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, good luck with your own projects.